This is Gladys Margot Diaz. She is about to become the first patient in the world to have laser cataract surgery with the Femto LDVZ8 from Zemer. Her surgery will be performed at Ophthalmo Salud in Lima, Peru by Luis Izquierdo, MD. He will give the 60-year-old Gladys a multifocal IOL. When we tried these different uh, Fento technologies, like we were waiting for this um, Fento laser, this new Fento laser like the C8 that like we have right now, uh, because we were waiting for a device who can combine cataract and refractive. When we decided to come to Peru to perform the first surgeries with Dr. Izquierdo, I already had a lot of experience with him on the corneal side and I knew he was very well equipped and used to our machine. The patient picks up the story. Llegó el doctor, él me hizo este, eh, todo fue rápido, la verdad fue una cosa que yo no pensé, pensé que iba a demorar. So there have been many questions, how will the patient interface work, how will the cutting performance will be. And we have been very, very confident, but still with some nervosity. So right now, uh, can I tell you that my first impression is that we didn't have any problem. And I think this is the most important thing when you are treating with our first uh, surgeries and we are when you are in the, your learning curve. So the first important thing is don't have a complication. I didn't have any. And did the patient agree there was no problem? Llegué a mi casa, ya me habían dado unas pastillas poquito para el dolor, pero al día siguiente me decí que no pueden ver, y estaba feliz. Now, after the first patient, or during the first patient, it was for me and for all us very positive a surprise how easy the handpiece and the interface was to was to handle. The patient was so happy, the first one, uh, didn't feel anything. It was so I think, wonderful for me because uh, during the capsulotomy with the laser, it was just another tool. The biggest surprise was after the cut. When the cut, we have seen there was a 360 degree mark on the cornea, on the capsule. But when he took out this capsule by just using the viscoelastic to separate it, this was absolutely the top of what we could expect. Right now we are using the C8, that is a laser who use a very low energy with a high repetition rate. And I think that's important not only for me, it's important for the tissue. I saw in all my capsulotomies after I used the C8 that was perfect with any kind of tax, any kind of bridge, okay? And that was when I started with my learning curve. And then this, this thing make the difference. The next day after the surgery, I saw the first five eyes, okay? What was impressive for me is that any of them have any kind of subconjunctival hemorrhage. So it was like looking at regular, standard, clear cornea phaco surgery. Here is the patient four days after her surgery. Can you tell which eye had the surgery? The Femto LDVZ8 seems to have met Dr. Izquierdo's expectations. For me, the ability to have in one platform and I can perform every kind of procedures in the eye is important. As a coronary surgeon, I using this device for doing uh, DALC transplant, this is for keratoconus, penetrating keratoplasty, endothelial keratoplasty, pockets for implantation of 360 corneal rings, for implantation even for cornea inlays, channels for different rings for keratoconus. I use it for corneal incisions. I use it for astigmatic keratotomy. And now I can use it for old cataract. I was very excited about the first surgery, right? um, just to see how a laser can produce something so perfect, okay? We were so happy about that, and also I would like to thank to the Simmer company to trust in me to be the first surgeon to try this technology. So the story of the first clinical use of the Zemer Femto LDVZ8 is a successful one for both the physician and the patient. 
Dr. Izquierdo is excited to have what he's been looking for, a femtosecond laser for refractive, corneal, and cataract surgery that is mobile and compact enough to fit into his existing workflow.